Hi class, and welcome to Lesson 7. I uh, don't uh, have a cool intro for you this week, so we're going to just jump right into it. Uh, this week, hate to break it to you, but it's going to be a busy week. I'm just going to start with that. We'll go through um, why it's going to be busy here this week, if you haven't already looked ahead. Um, but no fear, I know you can get through it. Students in past semesters have gotten through it, so I know you can too. I know with it being President's Day on Monday, that kind of makes it hard because I'm sure a lot of people have the day off and probably have fun plans. So it's a busy week and possibly even a short week for you, but I know you can still get through it. Um, so as far as content, if there's any uh, silver lining in this, uh, as far as content goes, there's really not a whole lot of new material this week. Uh, we're going to continue building on last week and talking about formulas and using formulas. And the main difference of last week versus this week is now we are going to try and use Excel to calculate those formulas. So I've mentioned in the past that Excel can be used as a calculator. Um, some of you may already be comfortable with that and doing that. Uh, this week's going to start teaching that and you'll start using that. In fact, the very first assignment um, is is one of the exercises. I believe it's exercise um, 2.3a number four. This is a little bit different and normally when you do the exercises there's not anything to submit. You just do them and then you answer that quiz that says you know you did it, you understood it, whatnot. Um, on exercise 2.3 part a you actually will submit an Excel spreadsheet to me. Okay so what that will be is it will be using um, Excel to calculate formulas. You'll see when you do the exercise. Uh, I think you do the problems by hand like on number one and then number four says do problem number one just in Excel, right? And the video this week is all about using Excel so make sure you watch that video. Um, it's I think about 13 minutes long and it's really good. So that's the first thing that you gotta make sure you submit this week. Um, number four from exercise A showing using formulas in Excel, okay? The next thing is your budget and expenses part two. This is where you've been tracking your budget for the last month and now you will be submitting that. And so I've remind, I've tried to remind you to keep that up. That way come this week you don't have a lot to do. Hopefully it's just turning it in. If you've done that, awesome. If you've already got it all up to date then hopefully it's just tracking your expenses this week and at the end of the week you submit it. And then boom, you're done. Maybe this isn't a big one to do. The one thing that I do want to point out is now that we're using um, formulas in Excel, part of that um, budget and expenses part two that you'll be submitting this week is making sure that you use the sum function. Okay? So somewhere in your spreadsheet, I think it's worth, if you look at the rubric, I can't remember, it's worth like four or five points, you need to sum up a total. Okay, so you, in order to use the sum function in Excel, it's pretty simple. You just hit equals, write sum, S-U-M, parentheses, and then you just highlight which cells you want it to add up, and then end parentheses. And what that function does is anything that you highlight, it adds. So a perfect example of this would be if you just want to sum up all of your expenses for a week, at the bottom of your expenses, just say sum, highlight everything you spent that week and it'll tell you the total amount. Okay, so somewhere in the spreadsheet, doesn't have to be a specific location, somewhere in the spreadsheet I need to see that you used that sum function. If you don't use it, you will miss some points there. Okay, so that's the main thing I want to talk about uh, for that tracking your budget and expenses. Okay, so make sure you get that turned in by the end of the week. Make sure that you're using the sum function. So there's our two things so far that we've got for this week. Now the last one, the last one's where it might cause a little bit of heartburn and that is we do have exam two this week okay so that's why I say it's a busy week okay submitting more things than we normally do and you've got an exam on top of that but I know you can get through it okay so exam two will be just it will be similar to exam one it'll cover um, the last four weeks and in, so including this week and then um, You'll take that exam before the end of the week, and it's same rules where if you want to retake it, you just let me know. I can go in and retake it. If you need to meet with me before you retake it, we can do that. If you get help outside of working with me, that's totally fine as well. Um, and one thing I just want to remind about the retake is you don't have to retake the exam by the end of the week. Just your first attempt is due by the end of the week. So don't feel like you have to rush and hurry and take the exam. That way, if you want to retake it, then you can do it by the end of the week. You can retake it next week. Heck, you can retake it in 
three or four weeks. Technically, if you wanted to retake exam one, you could still do that. So don't, um, don't worry about doing the retake by the end of the week. Just make sure that you get your first attempt done by the end of the week. Okay, so now there is a couple things with this exam that's kind of nice. Hopefully this will maybe ease, um, ease the heartburn over it. First is that on this one, you will be able to use a calculator. So you can either use an actual calculator, or if you're really liking using Excel as your calculator, you can use a spreadsheet um, or a Excel as your calculator on the exam. The other thing is you don't have to memorize all the formulas, okay? You are allowed um, that formula sheet. Uh, it's in your book, or if you go back to my lesson six notes, I did put that link in there. Sorry, I forgot to do that when I first posted. Thank you, I can't remember who it was that reminded me, but thank you for emailing me and asking where that was because I had forgot to put it there. So it is back there on my Lesson 6 uh, post. There's a link, you can download the PDF. It's like four or five pages. Uh, it's just straight out of the textbook. So those are the formulas that are in the textbooks. You can print that out, you can have that on the exam. So you're not gonna be expected to remember every single formula, okay? So that's what I've got for the exam. Hopefully, um, and as far as all the material for the week, hopefully, it won't be too bad, right? So um, it's really just the added submission on doing your exercise A, which hopefully will be fairly simple. If you've kept up on your budget and expenses, great. Just make sure that you've got a sum function in there somewhere and then submitting that and then taking the exam. Um, I did want to share kind of nothing to do with the class. I did want to share with you a little bit about a, a talk that I listened to this week. I know last week I talked about how I have a new job. I don't remember if I mentioned this in my little monologue or not, but part of this new job is that I have to commute quite a bit more. So before I was only like 20 minutes from work. Now I'm commuting about on average about an hour each way. So about two hours every day from work. Um, so that has been a bit of a, a change and it was probably my thing I was most nervous about going into this job was, was I going to be able to do the commute and then, you know, how much extra time that takes away from being with my family is sitting in a car. So there has been one nice thing though about my commute is that with that, I've made it a point that every morning on um, my drive to work, I try and listen to two conference talks. Um, two or three conference talks and then also sometimes the Book of Mormon so that's been really nice because it's just kind of a nice way to start off the day I usually leave my house pretty early in the morning and I listen to conference talks on the way to work it's a really good way to start my day I've, I've actually really enjoyed it um, and there was a talk this week that I wanted to share with you it really uh, it struck a chord with me I really enjoyed it and it was by um, Elder Christofferson this last conference and I don't remember the uh, the uh, title of the talk I probably should know that but um, I mean I the main thing I really liked about it was it was just point blank. It was, you're either in or you're not, right? You're fully committed to the gospel or you're not. And um, and it just really resonated with me and I, I really enjoyed the talk. So I'll link, I linked the talk below. You can go and read that or watch the um, the talk if you'd like to. It's not required. Um, but the, the thing I, you know, I got thinking, like, man, why do, why do I really like this talk? And uh, I think it's just because it's how my brain works. I mean, it's like, math in a way, right? The One of the reasons I love math and I would be a terrible English teacher um, is because, you know, I like to know yes or no, like in, right, in math, like two plus two is four. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, right? So it's either right or it's not right. That's how I remember my high school teacher always telling us that, you know, like in math, there's no like, oh, you were almost there, so I'll give you some of the points. Um, she, you know, she was very, you know, no, you either, you either got it or you didn't. That's all there is to math. You either got it right or you didn't get it right. And so I think that's why I really like his talk is because, you know, I, that's kind of what he's saying. You're either, you're either all in or you're not all in. And um, anyways, I just really enjoyed it. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. Hope you have a great week. Hope you have, uh, if you do get President's Day off, then I hope you enjoy your day. And uh, stay safe. I know there's lots of storms seems like going around the country right now. And um, I know here in Utah we're getting a few. And out in Washington area, they've been getting dumped on. And, and everywhere seems to be getting quite a bit of snow this winter, so that could be a good thing, but stay safe. All right, have a great week.